don't know how did this happen. Hey, it's okay. Talk to me. You know how I run monthly races at the workshop for the apprentice mecánicas y mecánicos who work with me? It gives them a chance to show off their projects and test their skills. I didn't know that. That's awesome. It is. Or it was until this month. That new kid, Aurelio, he, he beat me in a drag race. You and me, my friend, we're going to show everyone how it's done. Yes, boss. Ale, let me just say, you're great and you don't need to worry about anything. You finished? Good. Now, take the Napier Relton and help me figure out how to make you go faster. Fine. Cool. Get in. You like it? The Napier has a 24-liter W12. They used it to break speed records and test aircraft parachutes. Uh, do we have a parachute? No, it was too heavy. Now, vamos! if I could keep it. Wow! Nice wheels. 32 Ford Coupe. One of the mecánicas in my workshop, Katie, is from a racing family in California. She got me thinking about the next great era of speed machines. Thank you, Katie. This is a stock version. Let's see how it handles the dirt. Dry lake beds in secret because gasoline was rationed. Huh. 
I didn't know that. Cool. It's not cool. It's serious research. We have to learn so we can win. Are you writing this down? Kind of busy. Now here's the same car customized by the head mechanica at Horizon. Which, last time I checked, is me. Oh, this ought to be good. Got it, Ali. Not that you ever lost it. <laughs> well, I can still do in an engine. So, how could Aurelio have pulled off that win? Ali, sorry about that joke on the phone. I was just. Ay, de que? Forget it. My apprentice Katie and I have been talking about the American muscle car era. Might be some lessons there for us. Let's do it! Dodge Hemi Superstock, the biggest Dodge engine in the smallest Dodge chassis. Quarter mile in 11 seconds. Very nice! See, this is the Alejandro I remember. Drive racing is all about reactions, I'm not. Maybe I'll really jump the gun on you. Oh boy. As well as the engine, they removed everything from the dart that would weigh it down on the track. The radio, the armrests, side mirrors, carpets. Feel it in the corners for sure. Maybe if I pull the carpet out of every car in my garage. Don't even think about it.
was great, wasn't it? We've tried muscle cars and straight line speed machines, but we can still go faster. You need to take a breath, dude. Let me guess, your apprentice, Enzo? Mateo, actually, but yes, he reminded me of one of the most important cars in history. The first production model to hit 200 miles per hour. <laughs> you don't need an excuse to get me into an F40. If this doesn't make us better racers, nothing will. Your performance. A nice 40th birthday present for Ferrari, and anyone lucky enough to own one. <laughs> you know why this thing is shaped like it is, right? It makes so much heat, it has diffusers both front and rear. And I'm still sweating! was fun. So much fun, I almost forgot about Aurelio for a second. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, street racing school. I'm ready. Actually, I thought we could just relive the Midnight Club era. Drive a Japanese legend, have some fun. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds great. Welcome to the Midnight <laughs> Exactly. In the 90s, Japan produced speed machines from Nissan, Honda, Toyota. This is a Supra A8. Hina says back then, everyone wanted a Supra. I can see why. Three liter twin turbocharged inline six. 276 brake horsepower, 315 foot pounds of torque. The turbos are sequential instead of parallel, so you get a consistent boost at low and high RPM. Wow, Abe, you know everything. Not quite. I just have a good crew to help me. Hina tuned this up for us. Tuning is huge in the Japanese scene. Hina says you couldn't get into the Midnight Club without a top speed of 160 miles plus. Of course, she probably wasn't even born then. Ale, neither were you. Okay, good point.
was amazing. Say thank you to Hina for me. I will. Actually, I should get back to the workshop to see if Aurelio has beaten any more of my lap times. Ah! Big guns! Got it! This is the Hennessy Venom F5. Cars don't get much faster than hypercars, and hypercars don't get much faster than this. Get in. He's not nervous at all, just excited. Like, he doesn't even care who wins, he's just happy to race. Maybe I've been doing this all wrong. Do you mind if I take some time, clear my head before our next lesson? Yeah, take all the time you need. Hey, how are you doing? Better. When I lost that race to Aurelio, I thought I was done. An old model, too slow. But here's the thing, at Horizon, we love history. We love you, no matter what. I spoke to Aurelio. We're going to try our monthly workshop race again. All this talk of the past, forget it. The Rimac Nevera is the future of speed. Woo! That's what I said. All electric, zero to 60 in under two seconds. Nevera is the word for sudden lightning storms off the coast of Croatia, where this thing is built. Good name! Let's get the rest of his compadres in here. Gracias for helping me. I can't wait for next month's races. Aurelio and the others have already started tuning up their rides. Sounds like your workshop is about to get pretty competitive. <laughs> How do you think race cars got this fast? 